What's happening guys, it's Shane here. So the career that you decide to go into is gonna have a huge impact on your future financial success as well as your overall well-being. And studies have shown that people are most happy when they're making over 70 to $75,000 a year, depending on which study you look at. And it doesn't take a genius to see that making more money means you're gonna have less problems and more freedom. And less problems means that you're gonna be less stressed, you're gonna have less things that you have to worry about, and that in turn is going to make you more happy. Now, if you choose a career that doesn't make you very much money, you're gonna have a lot of other problems that pop up in your life. And if you just go purely for your passion, and choose something that you love to do but there's no jobs out there or if there are jobs they barely make any money then unfortunately you're probably going to have to get a second job or maybe you might have to work 80 hours a week and your overall happiness will ironically go down and everybody knows that money isn't everything it's not the only thing that contributes to your happiness but if you're going to spend a bunch of time and money and effort breaking into a career you're going to want to make sure that you're compensated well so you really have to find a good middle ground between passion and practicality so in other videos I've gone over degrees and majors and industries that create the most millionaires and in those videos a lot of the times the millionaires were created because the people that went into those careers ended up starting their own business they became entrepreneurs and that's how they made their millions but in this video I'm just gonna go over careers where you don't have to become a business owner start your own business become an entrepreneur you can just get a job in one of these careers uh, just be really smart how you invest your money and become a millionaire that that way because let's be honest even though entrepreneurship is a great way to become a millionaire and become financially free it's definitely not for everybody so the first one I'm gonna go over on this list is going to be physicians aka medical doctors and everybody knows that doctors make a lot of money the average doctor makes over three hundred thousand dollars a year and certain specialties make a lot more than that and I think that this is a really good career to go into but I also think it's a little bit overhyped and the reason for that is because it takes so long to become a medical doctor you're gonna to have to do four years of undergrad, four years of grad school, and then usually at least three years, sometimes up to seven years of a residency before you can even start making the big bucks. And not only that, but during this whole time, especially in medical school, and then when you're in residency, you're probably gonna be studying or working over 80 hours a week. When it comes to being a doctor, work-life balance doesn't really exist, and it is one of the professions that has the highest suicide rate and depression rates because of that. And then additionally, you're constantly around people who are at the lowest points in their lives and that can tend to rub off on you and you can get a little bit jaded by it. But with that being said, if this is a profession that's right for you, if you do your research and make sure that it's right for you, then this is a really, really good one to go into. Now, the next one on the list is gonna be engineers and this one probably doesn't surprise you at all, but basically engineers make extremely good entrepreneurs, but if you aren't an entrepreneur, you don't wanna go down that road, this is still a really good job to get into. Kevin O'Leary, AKA Mr. Wonderful, talks about how he loves investing in companies that are run by engineers and hiring engineers because these are the people who have real world problem solving skills and they're generally very intelligent and very hard workers. And engineers are the people who create or design new products or they actually improve upon existing products. And these are skills that basically every company out there wants. Now, I will say that getting just any engineering degree isn't as surefire of a degree as it used to be in the past decades. You know, you do wanna do your research and make sure you're getting a degree that's gonna end up getting you a job, but engineering is still a very, very solid choice. Now, I could have chosen a lot of different careers for the next one on the list, but I went with financial planner, but really this is just overall anybody who's involved in the finance industry. And financial planners are basically people who help individuals like you or I decide where they should invest, where their money should go, make a plan for retiring. And this is just a very, very good industry in general to go into and financial planner is one of the best careers in the industry. Now, the next one on the list is going to be investment banker. And these are basically people who choose where to invest money that's put into a bank. And if you're able to break into this career, basically all investment bankers make over six figures. That's almost like an entry level salary. And a lot of them are making over a million dollars a year. So this is one where you don't have to go off on your own, create a business, do all that stressful stuff. You can just 
work within the confines of this career and still become a millionaire pretty easily. The next one on the list is going to be still in the medical profession, but it's not gonna be medical doctors. It's gonna be one step down from medical doctors. And by that, I mean physical therapists, nurse practitioners, pharmacists, people who have a professional degree, but they don't wanna take the time to go through the 12 years or longer that it takes to become a medical doctor. The salaries in these careers are very, very good. And in general, the medical field is just a very stable job to get. In my opinion, it doesn't matter how good artificial intelligence gets, they're never gonna be able to replace nurses or doctors or anything like that. And there's always going to be demand in the medical field because unfortunately people will always be sick and they'll need someone to take care of them. Now, number one on the list, and if you've watched any of my other videos, you can probably guess which one this is, and it is a software engineer or really anybody who's involved in computer science, computer programming. This is gonna be so huge over the next 20 years. There's already so much demand right now and the demand is only going to go up as artificial intelligence and technology becomes more and more prevalent. And the amazing thing about becoming a software engineer is if you want to, if you decide that you're somebody who just wants to be an employee for the rest of your life, you just want to live a simple life, go to work, work 40 hours a week, and then go home and enjoy the rest of your time, this is great. You can go into that. But if at some point in the future you decide that you want to try your hand at entrepreneurship, this is also an incredible industry to get into. You will have in insider knowledge and an insider track on creating software that different companies might need. One thing that's great about creating a tech company is a lot of them end up getting bought out by big businesses like Google or Facebook. And I think a mistake that a lot of new entrepreneurs make is that they don't have an exit strategy. And a great exit strategy is to get bought out by a big company for 10 million, 20 million, 100 million dollars. Make sure to check out these videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead and smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring a little notification bell and then comment down below what you think about the video or any other video ideas you have that I should make. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.